Hey everyone, welcome to Horrible Gaming. My name is Nora and on today's video we are working more on the idea of a castle town city. Now today's video is actually a continuation but in obviously a different season and some different codes of my vintage castle entry which was originally inspired by my.animalcnh on Instagram. This account is also one of my greatest Animal Crossing friends so I definitely recommend checking her out. She makes incredible entries. I swear I don't know how she comes up with these entries but they are such a staple for basically any kind of theme that you are doing and I fell in love with her castle entry so much and she didn't know how to transition from it and this is my second time on trying to figure out how we can transition from it. Maybe this will even inspire her to maybe return to the theme because I just don't see myself ever committing to a castle theme. Now I did make a castle island a long time ago and I do think I could have done a better job on it it was my very first time using these items so I definitely want to make a new castle island I just don't know what the vibe is that I want to go for I'm not sure if I want to do something that's cozy in the fall season or if I want to do something that is a little bit more elegant so y'all let me know what you thought about today's build in the comment section below if it gets enough feedback maybe we'll continue it I'm taking a small break from my town core island just because I've hit a wall and I have no idea what to do with it so I'm planning to return to that hopefully in the next couple of days. I am thinking about honestly streaming some Pokemon this week to kind of just give me a little bit of a break from it to see if I'm ready to go back to the island theme yet. Worst case scenario, I'll just return to the island later when I'm feeling inspired because obviously when I'm feeling burnt out, I don't want to play. So right now I still want to play and I want to keep it obviously, you know, that way so we can continue getting ideas for y'all out. But uh, anyways, today's video is again focused on figuring out a transition from Marine Marina's entry and I think I have a pretty solid idea. I liked the idea of doing something kind of like my island Slateport had which was that highway video that we did. If you're not sure what I'm talking about I will have it linked at the end of this video and I was thinking what if we did something that wasn't a road but kind of had like a similar idea. So I thought doing like a water code that kind of like transitioned into the land bridge would be a really pretty transition but also keep that you know elegant city castle kind of vibe going on so we're gonna be working on that and then across from the water that I'm gonna be placing at the first level behind um, this entry we're gonna be doing another build which is inspired by the Ava garden on Instagram and I'm taking her entry and combining it onto this build. So this is why I'm always telling y'all to seriously watch every video that I post out because these are two technically um, entry builds that I was able to mash together into one big build. Anyways, I hope that today's video brings you a ton of inspiration. Make sure you go check out all the creators that I mentioned today. They will be linked in the video's description. I definitely recommend it because this build today would not have been possible without their original idea. I will also have Ava's speed build of her entry, which we're working on right now, linked underneath her information too. Definitely go watch her video if you are wanting to recreate this and in need a slower process and want to see how she did it. But anyways, I thought that this was such a great transitional spot from the entry that Marina created. So in general, I thought it would be really fun to combine two of my absolute favorite creators when it comes to castle-like builds into one giant build in general. I hope that today Today's video has given you so much inspiration. Let me know what your favorite part of today's video was in the comment section below and also future themes that you hope to see on my channel in general. That feedback always helps me out. I think that my water transition idea for these two builds worked out really well, especially with Slateport's land bridge returning but in a more elegant style. I hope that this gives you a lot of inspiration and just gets you playing Animal Crossing again. I know that a lot of us are feeling burnt out. Trust me, I get it. It can be super hard, especially when you want to play but you just have no inspiration to go off of. Before we also end this video I just want to say thank you so much for 30k subs on my YouTube channel. That is a number I never expected to see. Just the support in general has meant so much to me so I wanted to make sure y'all knew how appreciative I was of that number. Also as many of y'all know I have been adding some spicy content to my channel. I'm hoping that actually stays up. 
long story short, if you missed the last video, I definitely recommend you checking it out. Kind of just some backstory of it in general was I made a swamp island that was completely done with my modded console and I was so proud of it and then YouTube removed my video. Anyways, I was just really discouraged on posting that type of content again. I mean, I do share it on my other platforms, but not on YouTube anymore until of yesterday. So I'm hoping that this content stays up because I really want to provide content for players who have modded consoles and other players who do not. The original goal for this channel was to have both of that type of content and it just hasn't been able to happen alongside with my favorite gaming in general. Anyways, I hope y'all will be able to support that and with that being said, thank you so much for watching and have a horrible day.